Hey guys, and welcome to the third installment of Updated Builds, a series where I go over Warframes that I already made one or more videos for and I bring them up to date. Because let's face it, a lot of those videos are very old and horrifically out of date. Now, I asked you last time which Warframe you would like to see next. I saw a lot of you guys mentioning Ember, Frost, Loki or even Excalibur, but one Warframe was mentioned more than any other one and that Warframe was Mesa, the Gunslinger, so that's what we're gonna check out today. However, unlike with the previous two Warframes, I don't actually have three or even two builds for Mesa, I only have one that I use all the time and it utilizes Shooting Gallery, Shatter Shield and most importantly, Peacemaker. Now, as a Warframe YouTuber, I'm in an interesting sort of situation because I kind of know how you guys tend to build Warframes and weapons because you send me builds every day. I get like two, three, sometimes even four or five builds every day. The reason I'm talking about this is because Mesa is kind of interesting because a lot of the builds that I get for Mesa are very similar. They do great damage for about five seconds and they tend to be very squishy because people are relying heavily on a Shatter Shield. Now, of course, not all the builds that I get from you guys are like that, but a lot of them are. And I always found this interesting because my Mesa build is kind of like the exact opposite of the vast majority of builds that I get for her. It doesn't focus as much on kill time, though it still does more than enough damage to take you through Sortie 3 Eczema Stronghold, Physical Enhancement and Elemental Enhancement. But it focuses far more on efficiency, survivability and sort of just a quality of life stuff so you can actually stand there in the middle of an Eczema stronghold on Sortie 3 and go ham with the regulators. So here's the build I'm talking about, it's running Grossy Projection as its aura, now you can use something like Pistol Amp which will increase the damage of Peacemakers, but Grossy Projection is a lot better if you're going up against high level enemies, especially if you're fighting the Grenier or the Corrupted. And while you could run Energy Siphon to get a little bit of energy here and there, it is kind of pointless because it gets deactivated during Peacemaker. Then I'm running a stupid amount of duration with Ogre Message, Primed Continuity and Narrow Minded which kind of double dips for this setup. It will give us more duration for Shooting Gallery which is gonna increase our damage, it's gonna give us a longer duration on Shatter Shield which provides massive damage reduction and it reduces the energy drain for Peacemaker effectively giving us more efficiency. But using Narrow Minded will cut our range in half which is not good for this setup because it narrows down the field of view for Peacemaker so I'm using Cunning Drift and Stretch to bring it back up again. The way this works by the way is every time you take a shot with the regulators the area in which Mesa will target enemies shrinks a little bit and the damage increases a little bit and this stacks all the way up to 40 shots. Now this isn't that big of a deal if you don't have a super efficient setup like this where you only get off like 20 shots per peacemaker but since this setup is super efficient you are very likely to fire more than 40 shots so you'd have to be insanely accurate towards the end. And that's really not what I wanted with this setup, I basically want to point Peacemaker in one direction and kill everything that's there. Next up we're gonna add Vitality which is gonna skyrocket our effective health pool thanks to Shatter Shield which is gonna reduce the damage we take by 95%. And this is very important because you are immobile during Peacemaker which is very dangerous and it's what allows you to stand in the middle of a Sortie 3 Eczema Stronghold and just do damage all the time. Next on the menu we have Transient Fortitude which is gonna do three things for us. It will first of all add more bonus damage to our shooting gallery, it's also gonna cap out our Shatter Shield at 95% damage reduction and it's gonna increase the damage multiplier for Peacemaker. Now I think you can just go with Intensify and that's still gonna cap out your Shatter Shield at 95% damage reduction which is the most important thing here but I went with Transient Fortitude because I have a ton of duration to spare and it just adds more damage. Then I'm using Streamline for a little bit of efficiency and this is just so that Shooting Gallery and Shatter Shield aren't as expensive energy wise but it also reduces the initial activation cost of Peacemaker which is really good. And finally I have Primed Flow which a lot of people disagreed with last time but I really like it and it just makes sense to me on this setup especially because of how Peacemaker works, you know, the more shots you take the more damage you do. And it generally just allows you to bank a ton of energy and then stay in Peacemaker for long periods of time. Now let's quickly check out the stat stick, I'm personally using the Piranha but it doesn't really matter which weapon you use because Peacemaker isn't affected by the stats of the weapon, it's just the mods that you have on the weapon. Though some weapons are still better than others because if you choose a weapon that's gonna be effective even with sort of the stat stick setup that's boosting Peacemaker, you're gonna have an effective sidearm as well. Now the damage of Peacemaker is affected by a ton of different stuff, so first up we have generic damage, so Hornet Strike, then we have Multi Shot, so Battle Diffusion and Lethal Torrent, it's also affected by Crit, so we go with Prime Pistol Gambit and Prime Target Cracker, and finally Elemental Mod, so we have Convulsion, Pathogen Rounds and Prime Heated Charge. This is essentially the same setup I would use on the Piranha if I didn't have a Riven for it, so that's why I chose it for my stat stake, because it's still very effective even outside of Peacemaker. 
So yeah, even though you can slap this on literally any secondary weapon in the game, I mean, you can put it on the MK1 Lato and it's gonna be just fine. It is far more efficient, in my opinion, to go with a weapon that's already effective with that kind of build. So a crit-based secondary where you would go for 90% elementals. Now, I absolutely adore this build. It is one of my most used setups for sorties. I will take it into defense, mobile defense, interception, and generally just enemy physical enhancement, enemy elemental enhancement, and Eximus strongholds. It's also fantastic for assassination missions because it just melts bosses. And it's generally beefy enough to survive those missions as well, though you have to bear in mind that you have to keep up your shatter shield because if that goes down, you will go down very shortly afterwards. And every now and then, a random enemy will hit you or slap you and you will go down almost instantly because while you have almost 1000 health, you only have 65 armor and that's not a lot. So it is a very strong setup indeed, and I like it an awful lot, but it does have two weak points. The first one is nullifiers, you simply cannot shoot into nullifier bubbles, so those are very dangerous. And the second one is Arctic Eximus units, because while you can easily kill one Arctic Eximus unit even with its bubble up, but if there are two or more of them and they're close together and both pop their bubbles so their bubbles overlap, Mesa will just not target anything inside the overlap. And I don't know if that's a bug or if it's supposed to work that way, but it's dangerous nonetheless, because they can still shoot you while you can't shoot them. And I think I've been rambling for long enough, so I thank you very much for watching as always. You can let me know which Warframe you would like to see next in the comment section down below. I hope you have enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.